Okay, in this video I'm going to have a look at how we might make some basic remapping changes to a say at lay on 1.9 PD TDI 105 brake horsepower EDC 16 file. It's the same file that I've been using for various EDC 16 videos that I've made so far. In this video I'm just going to look at possible changes to driver's wish maps. Now as I did with EDC 15 I've put this information onto Excel. It just makes life simpler A for showing it to people because I can get lots of information into a smaller space but B it will do the calculations for me which makes life much simpler. Now there's one obvious thing to point out which is that or say several things, lots of driver's wish maps, ignore the fact that there's multiples that way, going down this way, there were something like nine driver's wish maps in the file. But perhaps more importantly, this first one, which I'm just going to call driver's wish one for now, but this first one looks like a typical driver's wish map that you might find in many files, and it runs with revs per minute from 0 to 5355 5, 5, which is a fairly typical figure you find with Bosch and effectively 0 to 100 percent although the first column there is 1 to 100 percent but this is pretty much a typical map that you would expect to see. Now all the others use a rev per minute scale or axis that runs from 0 to 6000 which means that in effect there's quite a lot at the end here that's never going to be used because people are not going to rev a diesel engine at those sorts of revs so it could almost end there at 5355 but it doesn't and all of these drivers wish maps from 2 to 9 all do that they all have 1, 2, 3, 4 extra rows which are probably meaningless in the sense that the engine is not really going to operate in that range it would be pointless there would be no power to gain it, it would just be a completely meaningless thing for this diesel engine to rev at that sort of level I doubt if it could now let's just look and see what I've done here then the figures are not original file figures or rather they are original file figures but they are literally taken off of the map so rather than being the five digit decimal numbers that you would normally see in other words that would read instead of three five four it would read zero zero three five four i've taken these from the actual map once the map has been produced and I've used just a normal decimal representation of the numbers so in other words when it's zero instead of being five zeros as it would be in the main file it just comes up as zero and as I said zero zero three five four I'm just showing it as three five four and these are actual torque outputs because this ECU this EDC 16 ECU represents the pedal or accelerator pedal pressure the output is in torque rather than milligrams per stroke as it would be in an EDC 15. Right now what I've done is I've used a simple calculator in other words for every position that there could be on the driver's wish map I've created a position here which is my calculator and so for that position there, there's the calculation position there, and that's the result that you would get. So in other words, if there is a 1 there, this is 354 multiplied by 1, so the answer, 354. So the modified file is identical to the original file because multiplying by 1 obviously has no effect. If I multiply by 1.1, that's a 10% increase. Now, I don't want to make an increase any bigger than 10% when I first play around with files. So, 
all I'm looking at here is a 10% increase. And so what I've done is I've d deliberately chosen this area of the file. So I've ignored all of these possible areas. So all of that beginning there and all of these here. And I've just chosen from 40% to 100%. So somewhere in the region of halfway down on the pedal. And roughly when boost comes in at 1500 revs to maximum revs of 5355. So I've just chosen that little block and I've raised it by 10%. So you can see it's become 1.1 instead of 1. And the result of that, of course, is that all of these figures in black remain unchanged. So they are the same as the original figures. But the figures in red have been increased by 10%. Now I've used conditional formatting on this which you can't see but basically if there's no change it will be displayed in black. If there's a minus change the numbers will be displayed blue and if there's a positive change, in other words an increase, they will be displayed red. So that's why that's red. So I don't have to make it red when the um, Excel formatting does that for me. Now if I move to the next one, this one's going to look slightly different simply because of this silly section at the end here which is not likely to be used. So in other words, the area that I'm interested in is still roughly 1500 to 5355, but instead of being in the bottom corner, it is now here. So I've had to change these to 1.1. So I've changed this block, which is roughly 1500 revs, 45, 65, 85, 100%, and from 1500 to 5355. So in other words, it's this whole block here. And I've increased those by 10%. And I've ignored this area down here, this area here, and this area across here. So it's just that block that's been changed. And there we have it with a 10% increase. And that's the same for the third map, the fourth map, the fifth map, six, and so on. So they've all been done in the same way. So obviously if I wanted to now, I could put these figures back into Winnells as my new maps with a 10% increase in Driver's Wish but only in those areas. Now if I then decide I want to change my mind and I want to make this 15%, life is very, very simple for me because all I need to do is come back to here and instead of having 1.10 in there, I just type 1.15 and then I drag it across and that becomes 1.15 on every row and then I drag it down and then that whole block becomes 1.15 and then these all become 15% increase. If I want to change the figures and move the changes about in the file, obviously I can. I can just change these numbers any way I like and the numbers will be reflected over here. I'll give you one, just a couple of stupid examples to show you what I mean. If I was to decide that I wanted a 100% increase, which obviously I never would, but if I was to change that to 2, and then I look over here, which is currently 354, I press enter, it's now 709. In other words, I've made a 100%, I've doubled it, and it's been instantly transferred across and it changes red because it's an increase. Obviously, I would never want something as daft as that, so I'll just go back to how it was. But it leaves me the possibility of saying to myself, well, okay, what if I want to change this one here by 15%. So I just put 1.15, enter, and that one is immediately changed from its original value. It is now 15% higher. And if I want to say to myself, well, what if it was 1.2%? So it's 20% instead. At the moment, it's 104. It would be 109. Now again, I'll go back to 1 because I want to leave the changes as, as I originally set them. But this method of making your calculations makes life very, very, very simple because you can say to yourself, right, I'll try, let's say, 5% and go and see what the car looks like and how it drives. 
and then you could say well I'll try 10% and see how it goes so in other words you can make changes on mass through all of these maps very quickly very easily and then you can load them into a new file load the file into the car and go out and test what difference it makes and this is what I always recommend to people to try rather than try to write a new file it doesn't hurt to just decide to change let's say only the driver's wish map load the new maps in and go and drive the car and see if it makes any difference so you can just test each little change you make as you go and it makes it far more interesting and it's a far safer way of going about making changes right that's just one possible way then to change the driver's wish so i'll stop at that point